and welcome to this week's edition of Purple Eagles Insider. I'm your host, Brittany D'Angelo, and this week we chat with members of the men's and women's cross country teams, men's basketball and volleyball teams. First up on Purple Eagles Insider, we have Nora Klanowski and Ryan DeLola, two members of the women's and men's cross country teams here on campus. Nora and Ryan, welcome to Purple Eagles Insider. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for coming on the show, guys. So, for both of your respective teams, how is the season going so far? Uh, the season for the men's team is going pretty well. Uh, for me individually, it's been a pretty successful season, although I have been injured for most of it, so it'll be interesting going forward. It's awesome to see that even being injured, you've had so much success mm -hmm. on the team. What do you attribute that to? Uh, definitely all of the training over the past summer and all throughout the whole year. So, Absolutely. Nora, how's your season going so far? Um, my season's going pretty well. Um, I've been able to see each... Um, me like progress and moving forward and I'm getting sorry. faster times so that's been pretty good and I think as a team we're doing well together like mixing together absolutely and uh, you are a freshman on the team so you're a fresh face to the Niagara University women's cross-country team and you're already making huge strides you're <laughs> leading your team in every single meet you've been in what do you attribute to your success is it the practices um, I think that we have a great team I think we blend really well and we're able to work really well together um, at practice um, during meets, like, I think we just mix very well together and the training that we've had is helping us moving forward. Now, what made you want to come to Niagara University? Um, well, it's a beautiful campus, obviously, a great place for me to, you know, get an education while I can still be doing cross country and track, so um, just all of those together made it the perfect choice for me. Absolutely, and I mean, we have this weekend is your MAC Championships, obviously that is the biggest Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the biggest the thing you work towards the entire season. So yeah. what are you looking for? Goals for the team, goals for yourselves individually. What are we looking at? Um, our goal for the men's team is to finish top 10. Uh, individually, I have been injured, so I'm hoping to still run a good race at max, and hopefully I can do that. Yeah, I mean, same goal for the women's team, and also individually, um, you know, run the best I can, um, hopefully get a good time for me. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. Good luck thank and Max you. this weekend. Thank you. We'll be rooting for you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Next up on Purple Eagles Insider, we have Matt Scott and Marvin Prochet, two members of the men's basketball team. Matt, Marvin, welcome to Purple Eagles Insider, guys. Thanks for having us. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So how's the preseason going so far for you guys? Well, the preseason for us is really about like getting to know each other's game more. We spent a lot of time in the summer working with each other, so we're just trying to get from here. Like Coach always said, we're trying to get from here to here. So we're trying to get close so that when the season comes, we, we know each other's movements and what we like to do best. Yeah, basically, we're just trying to gel together, you know, work hard, see where each other's favorite spot at. Now it's the fall, so we get getting to see who, who, where's everybody's sweet spot is at. And, you know, we just coming together and working hard every day. Now, you said about training together all summer long. I know I was working here at admission, so I saw you guys practicing all the time. What does practicing in that summertime really do for the team, would you say? Well, it just gives us, like, time together. So, like, the basketball season is year-round, so it gives us the time to work out, improve our games, get to know each other, and just team bond and stuff like that. You know, it's the summer, so it's no school. But we're up here, obviously, we're taking one class. But we could focus more on our game than school because during the fall you it's between classes and practice but in the summertime you could focus on your weakness and trying to get that better and stronger yeah absolutely and i know the team even traveled to costa rica how was that experience what'd you do in costa rica it was amazing <laughs> it was one of, it was amazing amazing trip for a person like me who wants to travel to see new things like it was amazing the people who hosted us was amazing. Like, uh, it, it was just a test, an early test. We played professional teams. You know, we came out, played hard. Obviously, we won two games, but <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good test. We got to learn, learn about each other. Absolutely, and you guys are two of the captains on the team, along with Coolio. So what does it mean to the both of you to be a captain on the team? Well, being a captain, for us, more like we're captains because we lead. And through experience, we've been through it last year. So we're just trying to like be an extension of coach. So whatever coach can't handle, 
or we don't want him to handle, we'll, we'll get to it early before it becomes a problem. And we just try to lead by example. Absolutely. Yeah. How about you? Um, you know, two years captain. Uh, coming in as a freshman, get, uh, I got to see like things, the, the don'ts and the do's, you know. So when they voted us as captains, we get to, like what Matt said, picking up with what Matt said, we get to, we're, we're the player's coach. Like we get, they could come to us with the problems and we're trying to find a solution before it gets to coach or it gets to bigger. So we're trying to, you know, be there for our teammates. Yeah, I mean, seeing it from a captain's perspective as well, I mean, biggest, what are your biggest goals for the season? Not only just individually, but also for the team as well. Well, for me, we're not even going to talk about individual stuff. We're just trying to have a, get a banner. Absolutely. We're just trying to win the, win the match. Yep. More importantly, win it. take every game at a time, you know, right. win every game at a time, even the losses. We're going to pick up from the losses. Whenever we fall, we're going to stand right back up. That's well, all that matters. I have a feeling this is going to be one very successful season for you guys. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. It was a pleasure having you guys, and good luck starting the season off. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Finally up on Purple Eagles Insider, we have Grace Hedersheet and J.C. Roberts, two members of the women's volleyball team. J.C., Grace, <laughs> welcome to Purple Eagles Insider, my friends. Thank you for thank having you. us. So... I'm not even going to ask how your season is going so far because I think we all know that question, but how are you reacting to how amazingly your season is going so far? I think it just puts into perspective, like we were still gelling at the beginning, yeah. but just to see like how our seasons progress and to see like how we can gel even more just That's like me. puts into perspective and it, I love it. Yeah. I mean, you guys are off to a 13 and seven start overall, nine and two in conference play. Like when you hear those stats, like especially the conference play, like what does that mean to you guys? Um, it really just, I don't know, just gives me a warm feeling, like, just to know we have only lost two games, and both games, like, went to five. They were close, nail-biting games. Just know that, honestly, we shouldn't have even lost those two. So, just know we've such a great team, and it brings me happiness. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking at the rest of the semester, I mean, you guys face Kanisha's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, what are the major things that you guys are looking in to approach this win? Because you guys already beat them once. Mm -hmm. So, what are you guys looking in for this win? What are we going to do differently, the same, that kind of thing? Yeah, like, we know their strengths and weaknesses. Like, we know where they're going to put certain balls and where we should put certain balls. And that's what we've been practicing for, like, this whole week. Like, we've had a solid, like, three, two days to prepare. And I feel like we just, if we do what we've been doing in practice, like, it'll like come into the oh, game and yeah. it'll show, yeah. Absolutely, now you guys are both freshmen. Mm -hmm. So what made you guys want to come to Niagara University? Um, I came here because the girls, when I came on my visit, they were just like, they gave me so much happiness. I was like, this is where I want my home to be for the next four years, being so far away from home. They just made me feel like I belonged in a family. Yeah. How about you, Grace? Yeah, I was actually introduced by Caroline Leach. She's a sophomore on the team and she went to my high school and since she was already committed there and I like saw how well she was doing and how much she's already progressed just in like a short period of time and when I went on my visit like everyone was so welcoming I just loved the team and the program and I loved the campus and how like you can really interact with your teachers too. We are very happy you both joined our uh, women's volleyball team. I mean you guys have had tremendous successes so far throughout the season. Grace you've got rookie of the week once for the max and you've got it twice. So when you when you're told, oh you're Mac Rookie of the Week, like what goes through your mind? Like it has to be like a mm -hmm. huge honor for you guys, right? Yeah, it's almost like like our team won it almost because I feel like if you keep up with your teammates, like they push us so much. Like I feel like that's why we got the award and like that we should be like sharing it almost because everyone is doing their job on the court and it's just showing. Yeah, like, pretty much exactly the same thing. They every single practice they just push us so much better always like saying come on girls like pick it up like let's go and it just when you get rookie of the week it's almost just like thank you thank you for all the times you pushed me to be better now looking ahead to the max because obviously they're coming up in about a month for you guys mm -hmm. month or less what are the team's goals that you guys would say moving towards those mac championships and obviously you want to take home that mac championship mm -hmm. that's the main goal so what are your team's goals moving forward to getting to there i'd say beating fairfield like just kind of just taking care of the next three weekends really two weekends, however many we have left. Yeah, I feel like just focusing on the big picture, like it, all the smaller things will fall into place once we focus on like getting the ring and like focusing on the two losses that we got. Like we know our strengths and weaknesses and if we just put that into play, like it'll fall into place. And we want you guys to get that ring too, let me tell you right now. Well, thank you guys so much for coming thank on the you. show. Thank good luck you. the rest of your season and good luck at Max. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> 
you for joining us this week on Purple Eagles Insider. For information on this week's matchups, visit PurpleEagles.com. Thanks again for tuning into this week's episode and be sure to catch our next edition of Purple Eagles Insider.